Becoming a Royal Marine is not just about learning how to fight. You learn how to wash your socks, how to fold your clothes into A4 size so it fits in your locker, how to clean your weapon with your eyes shut, how to cook your rations, how to stand on guard for four hours. And still today, I can shit, shave, shower and shampoo in under three minutes. When I finished training and passed my commando tests, we were awarded our green berries. My family came to the parade. I was very proud. I didn't think I'd go to war. When I received my green berry, nobody came to see me. But I felt like I was worth something. After recruiting in Hong Kong, I became a Gorkha soldier. 50,000 Nepali boys who wanted to be Gorkha, and only 300 were selected. Cuando terminé la instrucción, yo quería volver a Buenos Aires con mi familia, porque mi padre tenía cáncer. Pero me destinaron al crucero del grano, y no volví a tierra por mucho tiempo. Cuando terminé la colimba, sentí que había perdido un año. Me fui a mi casa, pero al mes me volvieron a llamar para ir a las Islas Malvinas. Después de nueve meses de instrucción, me convertí en un buen soldado. Aprendí los ejercicios de combate, a tirar, cavar trincheras, usar las armas. Me gustaba seguir órdenes. Una semana antes de salir de baja, nos formaron y me preguntaron si quería seguir la carrera militar. Pero lo pensé bien y al final dije que no. Tres meses después, me enteré de la recuperación de Malvinas y me presenté sin que me llamen. Estas revistas las compró mi papá durante la guerra. Él las compraba para buscarme a mí y saber qué pasaba. Yo nunca las miré hasta que empezamos a ensayar esta obra. En uno de los primeros ensayos las miré con Lu. Yo no pensé que buscándome a mí lo iba a encontrar a él. That's me in front. You probably can't recognize me in the, all that camouflage cream but it is me. At the end of March 1982, I was sent to the Falkland Islands to be part of the Royal Marine Detachment there for one year. 2nd of April, 1982. There were about 56 of us on the islands when over 2,000 Argentines with armour attacked. My job is to get my section back to Government House to help defend it. We were running and firing through the streets of Stanley for about two hours until we eventually made it to the house, which had now been surrounded by Argentines. Once inside, we continued firing for about another hour. What I remember from the firing and the fighting is the noise and the confusion, the worry that one of my lads had been hit, and my own fear of not being brave enough. When the Argentine armour arrived, the governor came in and he ordered us to lay down our arms. Vamos! Afuera! And as we were escorted outside, a photographer from Gente stepped forward and took our picture. That picture travelled the world. And it was on the front page of The Sun, The Times, 
the Daily Mail. And I felt ashamed. I don't remember much after that. I certainly don't remember the just putting the flag up. But what I do remember is being sat on the aircraft. I'd be so! As the aircraft takes off, I begin to think about how the Argentine hunter would take political activists and throw them out of aircraft into the South Atlantic Ocean. And I was terrified they were going to do that to us. After flying for several hours, the plane landed and we were ordered off. Vamos! Arriba! And the plane just took off. And then we found out we were in Uruguay. And they took us to a hotel. So we went to the bar and had a few beers. And then a British consul official came in and said, well done, lads, but make sure that you sign for everything that you drink. So we did. We signed all our bills. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Mr. Speaker, sir, the House meets this Saturday to respond to a situation of great gravity. We are here because for the first time for many years, British sovereign territory has been invaded by a foreign power. After several days of rising tension in our relations with Argentina, that country's armed forces attacked the Falkland Islands yesterday and established military control of the islands. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure that the whole House will join me in condemning totally this unprovoked aggression by the government of Argentina against British territory. Yeah. The governor reported that the Marines in his defence of government, in the defence of government house, were superb. When he left the Falklands, he said the people were in tears. They do not want to be Argentine. la señora Thatcher y el pueblo de Gran Bretaña no han escuchado hasta ahora una sola palabra de ataque o una sola palabra ultrajando su honor y su reputación hasta ahora el gobierno argentino y el pueblo argentino a este cabildo abierto puede enardecerse y presentar a las ofensas mayores ofensas. Si quieren venir, que vengan, les presentaremos batalla.